In this video we're going to answer the question, can I use a plug and socket as an isolator? In a recent video, Gary and Gordon reviewed the Winster connector from Vargo with its easy plug and socket connection arrangement. So if you haven't seen that already, then please go and check it out, as well as the free accredited CPD that we've made in association with Vargo on the subject of connections and connectors. You'll find that on the know-how tab of efix.co.uk. Now, thinking about general plug and socket arrangements, the question arises, can we use them to achieve isolation? Well, there's some helpful information in BS7671 on this subject, which is contained in table 537.4. You can see that this table gives guidance on the selection of protective, isolation and switching devices, with the devices listed in the first column and then the standard they conform to in the second and whether it's acceptable for isolation in the third column. Scanning down the list, we can see that there's a number of plug and socket arrangements complying to different standards, like the BSEN 60309, which is the industrial plug and socket arrangement with the round pins. And you can see that up to and including 32 amps, as well as over 32 amps, can be used for isolation. There's also devices for connecting luminaires, luminaire support couplers, and plug and sockets complying with BS 1363, which is the square pin 13 amp type plug and socket. And you'll notice all of these can be used as isolation. Of course, when carrying out safe isolation, it's important that you limit the ability of the equipment or circuit being worked on from being unintentionally or maliciously re-energized. So if you are relying on a plug and socket arrangement for safe isolation, then you may want to invest in a plug lockout device like this one that fits around the plug top and can be locked and labeled to prevent someone from plugging it back into a power source, either by accident or on purpose. So there we go. Any plug or socket arrangement that complies with the standards listed in table 537.4 can be used for isolation. But, as always, we want to hear from you. Would you rely on a plug for safe isolation? Have you ever been in a situation where you needed to do so? Have you got a plug lockout device? Or will you be getting one in the near future? Please leave your thoughts and questions in the comments section below. And as always, thank you very much for watching.